South Africa's ambitious national development plan is meant to correct the country's imbalances, create jobs, improve service delivery and grow the economy. Infrastructure development makes up a big chunk of the plan but will cost around $400 billion by the time it's complete. Ibrahim Patel, the Minister of Economic Development, gave an update on the plan this week. Infrastructure is a critical means in which we cross the economic and social challenges through the, the delivery of energy, of uh, transport and logistics systems, uh, the supply of water, uh, the rollout of broadband. The government has earmarked 18 projects, which include the upgrading of roads, railways, transport systems, schools, housing and broadband infrastructure. The government plans to create 5 million jobs in the next five years and to reduce the inequality gap through these projects. And through our policies, we now have the legal instruments to help support and encourage the growth of black industrialists. Of course, youth inclusion is very important, giving young South Africans an opportunity to participate in their economy and infrastructure, because by its nature it's new, it's not uh, established industry provide those opportunities. But the plan has delivered little results since its inception in 2012. Unemployment has risen to 26.4% and the service delivery backlog is growing. Chronic power shortages have made electricity supply a priority. Most of the funding allocated to infrastructure development has been redirected to ESCOM's build program. The first and immediate impact is it uh, creates constraints on the national energy grid and that it impacts on the economy. The second one is that um, it consumes more money. You pay more when you stretch your infrastructure build program over eight years rather than four years. And that means there's less money available for other programs. ESCOM is slowly getting its house in order and may soon free up funding for other projects in the National Development Plan. ESCOM went out to um, global investors, particularly in the US and the UK, to raise money for the program. ESCOM raised $1.25 billion of investment into South Africa for the electricity program. While the ESCOM crisis is largely as a result of poor planning, it's also a reflection of how far South Africa is developing. There's an insatiable demand for services. In the last 20 years, there's been vast improvement at the country's harbors, import and export terminals. At least 7 million households have been connected to the national grid and there's been ongoing development of transport systems. We've now got the largest uh, metro rail program in the world that's undergoing. We've got a, a very sizable transnet program that's on the go that will uh, deal with the freight side of transport. Um, in five years minimum, you will start seeing some of the freight trucks moving off the roads as there will be rail possibilities. The National Development Plan is rather ambitious for an economy that's growing at just over 1%, but many experts believe that the plan can work and that investors are still keen on South Africa. Implementation, though, remains the major holdup. And with ESCOM weighing heavily on the balance sheet, government will have to work much harder in order to find the funding to prevent further delays in making this plan work. Sumitra Naidu, CCTV, Johannesburg.